In this episode of my Gato FPS tutorial series, we're adding an option to our door component to make doors manual, meaning players need to close the door themselves. These tutorials are part of a long series of FPS tutorials for the Gato engine. The link to the door component episode is in the description, and as always, you can grab the source files for this and all of my Gato engine tutorials on my Patreon. If you want to require that players close doors themselves, you can make a simple adjustment to our door component script. First, add another enumeration for our door status that will have the options open and close. Then an export Boolean variable close automatically that will set to true by default. If we want the door to be manual, we can set it to false in the inspector. Then a door status variable that will hold the current status of our door. At the bottom of our check door function, we add a match case for our door status. If we interact with the door and it's closed, run the open door function. If the door is open, run the closed door function. In both the open door and closed door functions, we set our door status at the top. So when we open, our door status changes to open, and if we close, it's set to closed. This ensures we won't run the same function twice if the player spams the interact button. Finally, we check our close automatically boolean variable in the open door function. If true, we will automatically run our closed door function after our close time interval runs out. And that's all you need to add in order to create both automatic and manual doors. In the next episode, we'll take a look at how we can create a truly automatic door that opens when the player is near it and closes when they move away. As always, you can get these source files for everything that you saw in this video on my Patreon. I'll catch you in the next one. And as always, keep creating.